Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I know it has been forever since I <laughs> last put out a video. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the long hiatus. There were several reasons why I stopped. Um, but hopefully this will be the beginning of, of me returning on a very regular basis. Um, I do plan on continuing to talk about crypto, not just XRP. I'll be talking about some other things, things I, that, that are important to me. So I hope you guys can appreciate uh, the conversation. Uh, I do plan on kicking up the uh, live streams again. So with that being said, guys, let's get into it. So first of all, I want to start off talking about XRP. Um, and I found this interesting. Now, we all know the situation with XRP. We know that the lawsuit uh, could be over at any time. We don't know. We know that it's been going back and forth. We know the SEC. You know what? I'm just going to say it. The SEC is corrupt, along with many, if not all, of the other governmental agencies. Just my opinion. Okay. And remember... Everything I say is my opinion and mine alone. Uh, I am not giving any financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and what I the way I'm seeing things. Okay, so again, I don't know everything, and uh, I think anybody that tries to act like that is they're just going down the wrong path because we don't know. Look, look at what's what's happened over the last few years. We were expecting XRP to do something by now. I mean, God, but nothing has happened, right? When we were getting the bull run back in 2020, the legs got cut off uh, when the SEC filed the lawsuit. So here we sit still waiting. Uh, yeah, we could see a bull run, but to be honest with you, the research I've been doing, it's telling me that we will likely not see anything happen um, soon, to be honest with you. Probably closer to, if not in, 2024. And that's also assuming that we don't have some other major issues. We don't have a, a major uh, black swan event. I personally think it's that's very possible in the near future, within the next few months. But again, uh, all we have to do is just sit back and wait because everything will reveal itself. Now, to start off, I, like I said, I found this kind of inter interesting because this is the same thing we've been hearing for years. Something's going to happen. Tomorrow is the day. This and that. So, and and I'm not I'm not hating on uh, Mr. Perry here, but again, this is what we've seen time and time again. So uh, what is he saying? Something big is about to happen. Saturday, the 4th of March, Coinbase is having eight hours of maintenance. Okay, yeah, they do that quite often. And he's assuming that it could be to relist XRP. Now, me personally, I don't think that will be the case. I think that even after there is a... Even after there's a, a a judgment, say the they come out and give a summary judgment that XRP is not a security, I don't think I don't think Coinbase would list it right away. I think it would still take a little while, uh, and, and I could be wrong. I mean, who knows? That's just my opinion again. But um, I find it interesting that he's saying this now. He says, Chief Legal Officer. Quote, summary judgment expected any day now. Um, <laughs> who knows, right? Who knows? Uh, like, again, I just found it interesting, so thought I'd talk about it. All right, let's go. Let's move on. Now, uh, the black swan capitalist, he's kind of chiming in, you know, saying roughly about the same thing with XRP's increasing demand and widespread use case the lawsuit will not stop ripple from becoming the global leader in the digital asset space the facts have always been on our side of course absolutely um but the, you know the, the thing that has kind of been troubling me is just 
With all of these things that have been happening, it seems to me that it has given the central banks more time to catch up and surpass uh, XRP with, with its own offerings, right? So we, we know that it's very likely they're going to come out with these CBDCs and then possibly force people to use that, you know, uh, in, in a way, you know, setting the, uh, you know, economy up to where um, companies will only be able to accept their CBDCs. Very, you know, it's possible. I don't know. Again, this is just the things that I have um, been researching and looking at. And uh, it's just, like I said, it's just hard to say. It's hard to say what's going to happen here. Uh, there are a lot of things that have happened that I just would not have expected. But hey, it is what it is. He says, he, uh, the what he's posted here says, Ripple CEO expects a decision on SEC suit over XRP this year. Again, like I said, uh, I don't believe it's going to be tomorrow, um, possibly by the end of the year. You know, I think, and I hate to uh, kind of sound doom, doomy, gloomy, but I think we're going to have a, uh, a pretty serious black swan event. Before anything good happens, that's just the way I'm seeing it. I mean, we've already had uh, some things happen. We, we, we see inflation going nuts. Uh, we see, you know, with the Ukraine and, you know, Russia and, you know, all these different things, the, the trains derailing and all these different things that have been happening. I, f I kind of feel like we're going to have a, a, a black swan event that will affect the economy in some way. There, there are a lot of people saying that um, all these uh, different countries are getting away from the U.S. petrodollar. And, you know, I mean, guys, anything could happen. Um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be quite, uh, uh, quite an event trying to navigate all the things that are going on. So, um, so yeah, anything could happen, right? It says decision is going to be pivotal for the whole industry. Absolutely. U.S. is falling behind because of enforcement and emphasis CEO says yes the SEC has been more focused on enforcement rather than just clarity they haven't tried to help us you know when we're dealing with uh, someone like uh, Gary Gensler who has very publicly been involved in some very shady things like uh, SBEF, I, mean, I think, you know, I mean, all these different things. Who knows what goes on in the background? These people do not have our best interest in mind. That's just my opinion. All right. So uh, one thing that I have definitely been doing is I've been looking in, at other ways to make money. Now, it's not like I have uh, been successful at this. I don't get me wrong. But I'm just looking at other cryptocurrencies, thinking about the things that have happened in the last, um, you know, couple years, two, three years, uh, thinking about how Doge, I mean, something, uh, you know, like a meme coin, essentially making millionaires, uh, Doge and Sheeb and, you know, all that. Um, yeah, it's very difficult to kind of pick a winner. I mean, it's, it's, it's like winning the lottery, right? But. One thing that I was considering, all right, so I was looking at Sheeb and in this, I found this article, this, you know, this stuff kind of pops up on my phone, but it was saying that it's been listed by uh, uh, BTCC Exchange, which is a London-based crypto uh, trading platform. So um, the thing I find interesting about Sheeb is that there's constantly news about it, right? There's constantly something some type of hype, you know, if they're not burning coins, they're getting listed somewhere or there's something going on, right? Now, if we look at the price of Sheeb right now, and, and, and guys, don't get me wrong, it's not that I'm in love with Sheeb. I'm just, you know, throwing some examples out there. This is uh, because, you know, not only is Sheeb right now still um, really cheap. I mean, you, you know, a $100 can get you quite a lot of these coins, right? But my 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 
my thing is, is that when you look at Doge, and I know, you know, if we look at the circulating supply and all that, it, it is very, very high, right? But we never know what's going to happen. And again, this is just an example, just an example. Okay, don't, don't take it as if I'm saying, buy Sheeb, you're going to become a millionaire. Don't look at it like that. I'm just using this as an example. It could very well be pretty much anything. It could be Hex. It could be, you know, anything out there. But uh, my point is that maybe it would be a good idea. This is what I thought to myself. Maybe it would be a good idea to start looking in other directions to just make a little bit of money, right? And not that, like I said, not that it's happened. But when you look at the history of what has happened, when you look at, like I mentioned, Doge, Doge at one time was exactly here, right? But eventually Doge broke the one cent mark and almost came fairly close to a dollar. If you were a long term Doge holder, you did very well. And again, it's hard to say where these types of things will go there i mean obviously there are other coins again i'm just using this as an, as an example um who would have ever guessed that doge would have gotten where it where it has gotten who would have ever guessed that so my whole point is that just looking at the technology just um going off the the just the popularity doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to make money on it. Same thing with sheep. Doesn't necessarily mean that, but it's always a good idea, I think, definitely, you know, for myself to look in other directions and just, I mean, at this point, you know what? I was like, I'll throw a little bit of money at this. And, and there are other coins that I've done the same thing with. Throwing a little bit of money and you know what? I'm going to hold on to it. Who knows what might happen? If I had done this very same thing, even in 2018 with Doge and just held on to it, I'm sh I would have been very happy because at one time I did, I did buy a bunch of Doge. And again, yes, it's a meme coin, but there are other coins that are much more serious. They're not meme coins and they are, especially now, because just in the last couple of days, we did have uh, quite a drop across the crypto market. This would be a good time to buy. Anybody would tell you, anyone that really understands the markets, not that I do, but I do know enough to, 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 to say that when there's fear, that's when you buy, right? So, yeah. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, again, I'm not trying to tell anybody what to buy, and I'm not saying that Sheev is even, you know, a thing that I'm putting any type of faith in. It's just, again, just an example. Okay, so now that that's aside, I want to talk about <clears throat> this guy right here. This is something, this is um, going in the direction of why I really kind of stopped uh, making content uh, a while ago. Not that it's about him or, you know, anything like even going in this direction as far as the topic, but just looking at the way things were going and everything that was happening. Um, I was making content that essentially uh, YouTube didn't like. So I had a couple of videos that were taken down and all of that. And I got a strike and all this. All good. Whatever. But I just want to say that we are in <laughs> we're in a bad place. As people, as as men, you know, uh, we're we're even in just you know speaking solely about men, we're even in, in a worse position because at this point there are a lot of issues going on with with our with women, with the things that are are going on in relationships. Uh, just it's 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 like the country has completely lost all moral all morals, any, you know, any moralistic values. It's, it's a shame. And to be honest with you, a lot of people don't like Andrew Tate, but I'm going to be honest with you. I have to 
give this guy just straight kudos because he put himself on the line. I mean, look at him. This guy, right now he's in prison, and they, you know, uh, the Romanian government at the, um, at the command of whoever else, as, as he puts it, the Matrix, um, are very likely poisoning the guy. Okay, and people, you know, there are people down here, you can't give cancer to somebody. Uh, come on, man. Just, it's just the ignorance. You know, and another thing, just the ignorance of, of what I'm seeing. The people today, these, these, a lot, and most of it, most of them are, you know, just young people are so ignorant. And, and that isn't a, a that isn't a derogatory. It's just, what I mean is, it's just without knowledge, without any understanding. And it, and it, it just kills me. Just, all the stuff that people talk about, just, oh, it's just driving me mad. But this guy put himself on the line, him and his brother, to try to help young men to actually become men, to, to, to look at themselves and change their lives. And you know what? Some people didn't like that because it goes against the agenda that is out there. It, that, that, the agenda is, 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 is what we see today. It related to the the, the uh, inflation, related to, you know, the letter people, related to uh, what's going on in schools and, and the 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 just the craziness related to that. The things that are happening to children, the, the indoctrination, the the uh, propaganda, just all of this stuff that's just going absolutely nuts going against nature, going against everything that 30 years ago, people would absolutely have been just without words to see the things that are happening. I mean, even 15 years ago, 10 years ago, people would be without words seeing what's happening. I'm without it. I mean, I, you know, I was born in the 70s. Seeing all this stuff is just absolutely unbelievable and 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 people demonize people guys that are trying to help clearly because it goes against what they feel is is their right to you know whatever hey i'm not against that this guy wasn't saying that you don't you know look you do what i say he wasn't doing that he's just putting information out there that could help people who were helpless. That's it. But he gets demonized. He gets, he, he has, you know, I mean, you look through the comments here, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. The way people want to stifle any type of uh, um, speech coming from everybody. They don't want you to, they don't want you to say anything that you feel is, is important. They only want people who parrot whatever it is that they want. This world has absolutely lost its mind. I hope most of you are seeing what's happening and you're preparing yourself because it's going to get worse. All these people out here who, who hate uh, truth, who hate uh, good information that's, that's, that's actually helping people, that, that wants to uh, return things to a uh, 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 more natural god fearing uh you know uh life or you know just a uh, society all of those people you know what you're going to see how how wrong you are if you think if you think the people in charge care about you you are absolutely insane they don't care about you. They're doing what they're doing. They're doing it to everyone except themselves. I don't care if you have $20 million. They're doing it to you too. So, and, and, and the number of people who have $20 million, believe me, is very small in comparison to the, 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 the people, to the, the rest of the population, believe me, even, a, even the number of people who have a million dollars. So, like I said, they don't care about you. You need to decide 
uh, or rather, the, I'm not going to, I'm hoping none of those folks are listening, or if you are, and if you are, you need to take a step back and think about what's going on. Where do you expect yourself to be in the next five, ten years? Do your research. Look at what's happening. So, that's all I have to say. I hope this was at the very least entertaining and makes you want to subscribe. <laughs> I know some will probably say no. But either way, I wanted to put something out there and and like I said, I plan on continuing with it, continuing with this. So, um I will be uh putting notifications out there letting you know when I'm going to be live streaming kind of going back on the schedule going back to the same schedule that I, I had previously but anyway guys this is long enough thank you for joining me I hope you guys are doing well again uh, if you have not subscribed please subscribe definitely just click that like button hit the post notification button and watch out for my videos Thanks again, take care of yourselves, and God bless.